Once Yuji Krishnamurti says, uh, a thinking of, I don't think anything, neither think. Yes, yes, idea moves the world. So, a perception, can perception dilute all these things? Yeah, actually, you know, idea moves the world. Anuji, who moves the idea? Let us find out the source. Yes, it's a, it's a self. Exactly. Yeah, it's it's a, the self. It's the consciousness. It's the Brahma. It's the soul. Idea moves the world. Who moves the idea? And when we go deeper and deeper in meditation, in yogic practice, with understanding of sixth reality hidden inside, as observing power, witnessing power, a consciousness, and we go into cosmic superconscious state of nature. Yes. What we call Samadhi. Samadhi. Where there is a solution. Samadhi means where there is a solution. Cosmic superconscious state, one is aware but no dualism. Cosmic unconscious state of nature, one is coma. There is solution. Yes, here yes, yes. going beyond this unreal self mind and knowing the cosmic superconscious state, going into that undual thing mm -hmm. and then totally in peace, in bliss, in grace, in joy. Samiji, my, uh, there is a liberation. Yes, Samiji. Uh, a little bit confused with Samadhi. Yeah. yeah. In state of Samadhi, there is a solution of, for everything or there is no question at all. There is a solution of everything. When there is a solution of everything... There could be enough questions. Exactly. There is a solution. There is a solution. And when all questions are no more. When you are asking so many questions and there are so many answers where there. You are throwing answer and question both. And there is a samadhi. There is a solution. What? Because you played with the questions. You played with the answers and you reach to a crescendo where there is no question and no answer. There is a samadhi. There is a total... It's moan. Yes, total it's silence. Yeah, absolute silence. I am I am Noble silence. Out of that silence, somehow, there is a flickering of questions and there is a flickering of answers. Now you are reaching to a point where there is no question and there is no answer. So mind really don't bother... Exactly. ...and questioning... Questioning at all. Because you are reaching to the yeah. source of idea. So, absolute peace is there. Absolute peace is there. Absolute bliss is there. Because you are going to the source of the idea. From where ideas are moving. From where the sensation is moving. From where the feeling is moving. From where emerging the feeling, emotions, thoughts, sensations, anything. Our tissues, fiber, molecule, neuron, hormones. From where it is emerging into which everything is collapsing. Absorb or collapse? Yes, you know, things, you know, like, yes, you can say absorb, you can say collapse, you know, and they collapse and erupt. In, in deep sleep, we collapse in a way, in coma, and we again awake. You know, that's why Jagrata, Sopna, and Susupti. There are three stages. Now, we're awakening, it's something like 15 percent. So, we need to activate our super ego to activate id. Yes. Uh, to be a spiritual being. Yes. So, well, how a person should start his uh, spiritual life? Yeah, look, Krishna, there is a id, there is a ego, and there is super ego. Actually, we have to transcend even super ego. When we transcend super ego, there is a samadhi. Samadhi. There is no sense of I and thou. It's all I'm superior, superior and you are inferior. You know, there is oneness with the existence. Where there is no comparing mind. Where there is no inferiority complex and superiority complex. You are rich and I'm poor, you are successful and I'm unsuccessful. You are on the front and I'm on the back. You are on top and I'm on lower. I'm on the lower. That kind of unreal self is no more there. Yeah. You know, it is transcended. Then you are reaching to a blissful, peaceful awareness. There is just awareness. Beyond horizon. It's a transcendent one. Exactly. Beyond body, beyond breathe, beyond mind, beyond thoughts, beyond emotion, there is something existential miracle is happening. Yes, sir. 
With that miracle, everybody knows what is positive, positive discrimination, what I want us to do, what I have to do as an individual, what I have to do in a family, what I have to do in society, what I have to do in nation, what I have to do a globe, you know? Yeah. Then, I mean, when we prepare such human being with under, understanding of hate, responsibility on soldier, honesty in heart, and peace in soul. And if we create that human being, Does really, uh, religion uh, uh, impact your spirituality or not, sir? Actually, you know, all the religions are the pathways. It's a perception. Exactly. Perceptions. To lead beyond all perceptions. Yes. Sir. So they are indicating to go beyond all perceptions. They are perception coming out of the enlightened souls and giving to the common mass and ordinary people through those perceptions, one can go beyond perception. Yeah. It should be. Which is the source of the perceptions. Yeah. Source of the idea. So spirituality has nothing to do with uh, religion? Yeah, of course. Spiritual, spiritualism is for everybody else. Whether we're Hindu or Christians and Mohammedan or Buddhist or Jews or atheist. atheist or theist, you know? Scientist or unscientist. Spiritualism is clearly important for every individual yeah. every also. walks of life to live in peace to live in bliss to live in the moment to live in celebration and ecstasy everybody wants that yeah. whatever one is doing around the globe is for peace and yeah. celebration and Super joy ecstasy. ecstasy isn't it they are seeking ecstasy in ecstasy peel or hemp and cannabis and marijuana or LSD or soma or marijuana or maybe drinking alcohol or playing gambling or whatever it is, you know, it's not there. It's superficial. It is ephemeral. Yes. Real is hidden within. That's why our consciousness, our soul is the diamond of all diamond. It is full of Truth, awareness, and bliss. Satachit Ananda. So, uh, what is the role of acceptance uh, in spirituality? Yes, it's great because, look, there are people, 8 billion people are on the planet. Now, a few of us are together on the garden and talking like this thing, you know. Yeah. We have to understand we are amongst 8 billion crowd. Few are in kindergarten, few are in going to primary school. Few are going to the matriculations and few are going to the universities and few are doing PhDs and few are going beyond PhDs, you know. There are different levels. Yeah? There are different schools of thought. Somebody is enjoying dance, somebody is enjoying music, somebody is enjoying painting and somebody is enjoying sculpture. Sometimes somebody is enjoying writing lyrics and poetry. Sometimes somebody is doing some kind of philosophical things and writing some treatise, you know. There are different colors in the world. And once we awake within, and we accept everything as it is. Look at the beautiful trees in the woods. All are wonderful, all are beautiful. Look at the beautiful flowers in the garden. All are beautiful. Yes. I have noticed, Swamiji, uh, most of the people, almost 99% almost people have complaints, always complain. If there is sunny day, it's a complaint. It's rainy. Complain, storm, complain. Yes, because they don't have a solution. When, when there is no solution, there is only complain. Yes. That's why they, they really don't accept the things. Exactly. They have complaints against everything. Exactly. Everything. Exactly. They really, they never enjoy the rain. Exactly. Never the sun. Exactly. Because it is beyond our control. Yeah. If it is raining, it is raining. If there is a thunderbolt, there is a thunderbolt. If there is an earthquake, there is an earthquake. Yes, if there is a tsunami, it's there is a tsunami. If there is a landslide, there is a landslide. We have to accept what is happening in the moment. Yes, sir. Outside and inside. If there is a karma, we have to know, oh, karma is there. Can I be 24 hours in karma? No. no. Then it is ephemeral that comes and go. What is the worry? Uh, there is a corona, then everybody worries. No, can I be... Angry for 24 hours? No. 
it is superficial, comes and goes. One is greedy. Oh, can I be greedy 24 hours? No. That comes and go. It's a temporary phenomenon. It's a more it's a temporary phenomenon. Ahangara, can I be uh, ahangari 24 hours? No way. Then it comes and goes. Then we have to be knower. Yeah, no. Then this very thing turns into peace and compassion and joy and celebration. So the first 